Now, one of the things that does happen in um, nature is if you've got an abnormality where the liver won't take up that LDL because you've got a genetic abnormality in the LDL. It's rare, it's about one in 10,000 of the population. But if you do that, well then the LDL is going to accumulate in the blood. Now, we mentioned those patients that might have an abnormality in the LDL receptor, familial hypercholesterolemic. So they've got all this LDL that's hanging around and it's accumulating in the tissues, whether that's the eyes or the Achilles tendon and so on, or in the blood vessels. But what sort of LDL is it in familial hypercholesterolemia? Because we've just said large buoyant LDL is safe and small dense LDL isn't. And when people look at patients with familial hypercholesterolemia, the LDL they have in these green bars here is LDL 3, 4 and 5, which is small dense LDL. So FH isn't a disease of high cholesterol or high LDL. It's a disease of high small dense LDL because the LDL is hanging around long enough for it to become small and dense. Now giving a statin to a patient with familial hypercholesterolemia improves their outcome. There's no doubt. I, I mean, I, anybody with familial hypercholesterol should be thinking of a statin therapy because it improves outcome. But how does the statin improve outcome? It reduces LDL, but what it particularly reduces is small dense L LDL. So ideally we'd want to get rid of it completely. So the small dense LDL, why is it so harmful? Well, the simple idea is it's smaller and it can get into the blood vessel walls and form that plaque, that obstruction. And more than that, people think that once it gets into the blood vessel wall, it can be changed by glycation or oxidation. And then this really rubbishy small LDL is taken up by the scavengers of the body, which are the macrophages. And if you've got lots of it, those scavengers become engorged on this rubbishy LDL. And that's what plaque is. So look back on that diagram. VLDL becomes smaller and this stuff should go back. But if you've got the capacity to make small LDL, which becomes glycated and oxidised, it starts accumulating in the cells of the blood vessel wall. And here's just some papers you don't need to remember too much other than when you oxidise LDL, macrophages go crazy. They start talking to other macrophages and say, let's do something more. And what about glycating LDL? What about sticking sugar onto LDL? What, what would that do? We know that sticking sugar onto haemoglobin is related to the risk of heart disease. And similarly, people have shown that if you put sugar onto LDL, again, the macrophages go crazy for it. And you'll accumulate that in the blood vessel wall. So the way you should think of LDL is normally it's green and good. If triglycerides are present, it'll become small and dense. And if it's small and dense and gets into the blood vessel wall, it can be glycated and oxidised. And that's where the trouble starts.